Hello, welcome to Aramulit. Aran Dukwe here. I'm glad to have you once more. In today's video, we're going to consider the academic cadres in a university circle using the Federal University of Technology Uwere as an example. Many students and some folks do not actually understand the nomenclature of different cadres in a university circle. I am optimistic that this video will offer you the opportunity to understand how the higher institutions of learning work, especially the universities in Nigeria, in terms of the academic qualifications and their associated categories in terms of rank in our various institutions. Here at the Federal University of Technology, Owere, a professor occupies the highest rank in terms of academic position. So he is first in the ranking. We talk about the ranking and then the qualification for you to become a professor. In terms of hierarchy in the university circles, there is a graduate assistant which is the least in the rank of an academic staff. The graduate assistant is a position that new graduates that performed excellently can occupy. So if you are a new graduate and you made first class, that is from 4.5 to 5 points on a 5 point scale. If you indicate interest, you could be appointed as a graduate assistant. That is the least academic position using the Federal University of Technology Owere as an example. So the graduate assistant can do other things assigned to him by the head of the department or the management of the institution, but cannot teach. The graduate assistant doesn't have the qualification to be assigned a course to teach in the university environment. So he can do other things. So are you qualified for the position of a graduate assistant? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you desire to be a graduate assistant, for your growth, you should work towards earning your master's degree. For you to grow, otherwise you will remain as a graduate assistant until you get that master's degree. It's very important you know that. Then that leads us to the second cadre, the second academic position in any university in Nigeria. And that is the assistant lecturer. Assistant lecturer is a position reserved for graduates that hold master's degree. Some universities might say with three years working experience, while some new universities may not have any condition apart from the acquisition of master's degree. Some universities will say a master's degree that would qualify you for a PhD program. It's not all master's degrees that could qualify one for a PhD program. Now, what I mean is that when you have a CGPA that is less than three points on a five point scale, many universities in Nigeria may not admit you for a PhD in that course. You may not merit a PhD position in some universities if you perform poorly at master's level. So some universities will say, for you to have a higher chance, not that with your master's, you can't occupy that position, but for you to have that advantage, a competitive advantage, having a PhD admission or commencing your PhD while applying for that position will give you a better edge. 
So that is a trick. So for the assistant lecturer, you have your master's degree. With that, you occupy that position. And your responsibility is whatever you are assigned by the head of the department or the management of the institution to do. Basically, there are activities or engagements of every academic staff. One is that you will teach, you will lecture, as long as you are from assistant lecturer to professor. Another is that you would engage in research, in vigilation, and also other activities assigned to you by the head of the department or the management of the institution. It's very important that you know that. Lecturer 2 is next in rank after assistant lecturer. And what does it take for you to now be promoted to lecturer 2 from the position of assistant lecturer? You need three years in the position of assistant lecturer. And there are also additional requisite requirements like the number of publications and also other administrative work. So those have some points. The committees you are into, the appraiser that will qualify you to be promoted to the next position is usually done on a yearly basis. And there is a benchmark. If you don't satisfy the minimum requirement, you will not be promoted. So it's good wherever you are, whatever institution you seek to find yourself as an academic lecturer, to know the spelled out conditions for promotion. So from lecturer two, the next position is lecturer one. What does it take for you to be promoted to lecturer one from lecturer two? You just need three years and you also need to have some number of publications. So it's good you contact your institution to know the minimum requirement in terms of publications and other conditions surrounding the promotion from lecturer two to lecturer one. And the next after lecturer one is senior lecturer. Is very important that you pay attention to the fact that if you are occupying if you are occupying the cadre of lecturer one and you don't have your PhD, there is no way in Nigeria that you can be promoted from lecturer one to senior lecturer. So with PhD and meriting other conditions like publications, managerial aspect, in some universities they've introduced publishing in Scopus Index journals or Web of Science journals. So it's good you know what your institution needs, what the requirements are to be able to satisfy them in order for it to be promoted. For the PhD is important. Without PhD, you stay as lecturer one for as long as you could. <laughs> Guys, let me know in the comments if you are in lecturer one right now and you are yet to earn your PhD. Tell me how long have you been in that position of lecturer one? Let me know in the comments, guys. So the next in line after senior lecturer is associate professor. That position is critical because once it gets to the professorial cadre, when I, what I mean by professorial cadre, I mean professor and associate professor or reader. So once it gets beyond the senior lecturer, your assessment is not even within the university alone. Whatever it is, your productive work, whatever it is that you have will be sent to an external accessor 
who will now appraise you. So it's good to pay attention to the conditions of service and requirements for promotion in your different universities to make sure that you satisfy the minimum requirement and work towards packaging your CV in order for you to be promoted to the position of reader. Then after reader, the highest position is the professor. The professor occupies the highest academic position in the university. So it takes three years from the position of reader to the position of professor. And you must also attain the minimum requirement of publication and other activities. In some universities, they've introduced supervising PhD or master's degree students to completion before you can even be promoted to the position of lec senior lecturer or reader or professor as the case may be. Thank you for listening. So it's good for you to pay attention if you're a student and desirous of becoming a lecturer in the future, it's left for you to work towards making it. I'm rooting for you. So I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.